You are... I'm David Haggard, and I'm a regional naturalist with Tennessee State Parks. This eagle is 16 years old. I've got another eagle that's, that's 28 years old. We do a variety of different presentations. We do one that's just on nature, just with the eagle and how they survive. Then we do a history presentation like we're doing here today with how it relates to the Civil War and the military. So we do different types of presentations depending upon the event. And how would one contact you? Uh, basically through Tennessee State Parks. Uh, my email is david.haggard at tn.gov. And then my cell phone is 901-258-3147. Thank you. This is Old Abe, and he was the mascot of the 8th Volunteer Wisconsin Militia. He was actually caught out of his nest by a Chippewa Indian named Chief Sky. And when he caught Old Abe, he had to kill Old Abe's mother because she attacked him. And then a member of the 8th Wisconsin unit bought Old Abe for $2.50 to make him the mascot of the unit. And he traveled with them throughout two years of the Civil War from 1862 to 1864. He was in over 30 battles. The closest battle here to Fort Pilla, he was not at Fort Pilla, was at New Madrid and Island Number 10, which is just north of us on the Mississippi River. And then he went to Mississippi, and he spent the next two years in Mississippi and Louisiana. Two of the most famous battles he was in was Corinth, Mississippi, which is near Shiloh. And actually at Corinth, with one of his closest calls, his leech was actually shot in two, and he flew over the battlefield screaming, and then landed and was recaptured by his handler. And the Confederates were shooting at him while he was flying over the battle. And they actually offered a bounty for anybody who killed him because he was such a symbol for the Union troops. He was also in a big battle called Vicksburg, and that's the only place that he was ever actually shot. He was hit at Vicksburg, but it was just a flesh wound and it didn't kill him. He actually lived to be uh, 20 years old, so he lived another 18 years after he was out of the military. So he was a very, very big symbol of the military during the Civil War, and there's still a symbol of the military today. Do you know what unit today has the eagle as their mascot? Yeah, but which unit? Who else can answer to them? It's called the 101st Airborne out of Fort Campbell, Kentucky, and their nickname are the Screaming Eagles. So they're based in Tennessee, Kentucky, Fort Campbell. So the Eagle has a history going back with the United States military all the way to the beginning of the Civil War. So that's why we brought it here today. It's a very beautiful bird. That worked.